Hello everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use styles in Word. I'm going to show you some basic tips on their actual use. And in a subsequent video, I'll give you some best practices about how to set up and manage styles so that you can use them highly effectively. In my quick access toolbar, which I do have a video showing you how to set up, there's this little icon right here that looks like two letters, A. If we click that, it brings up this styles window over here, which has all of the styles in the document. A style is just a preset set of formatting uh, structures that we can use and apply to text to have it look consistent throughout. I'm going to close this window and I'm going to show you the way to get into it that you're probably going to be more familiar with. If you use the, the ribbon or have the tab set up up here, this is the way most people use Word. Click on the Home tab. This long window right here above the word Styles, this is the horizontal version of what we just saw on the right. You can use this window for everything I'm going to show you. Or if you have a lot of styles, you can open up the window by clicking on that little arrow drop down that we just saw right here to bring the styles window open on the right. Now, personally, I like to have the styles window open on the right because it's easier to read the styles. You can see a better sample of what everything's going to look like in running text, and you get more styles in this window over here on the right. But if you have a small screen like a laptop screen, especially a 14 incher, this window on the right can be a bit frustrating to use. Let's start taking a look at how to actually use these styles. One thing you might notice is that the styles I have will look different than yours, and that's because I modified almost all of the styles in the standard normal uh, template to fit what I need them to do. The way that you apply styles is that you select a bit of text to apply the style to. So let's take a look at the actual text here. This is just placeholder lorem text. It's standard stuff. If we turn on the paragraph markers, which is this icon right here in my quick access toolbar, or if we go to the home tab, this icon right here, we now see that there's a paragraph marker at the end of each line. This paragraph marker will store the style information for that line. So this paragraph marker that's highlighted stores the styles for lorem passage. This paragraph marker that I'm highlighting right now will store the style information for this paragraph that's in quotes right here. So we're going to highlight, I'm going to turn off the paragraph markers first, and we're going to highlight lorem passage. Now you might see here there's a highlighted space after passage. That's because we are highlighting that paragraph marker even though it's invisible in normal typing. We need to highlight that paragraph marker so that the uh, styles are reliably applied to what we're working on. So we're going to call this heading one. I'm going to come over here to the style menu and just click heading one and it changes to heading one. Great. If we click, there's a second way, however, to select a line. You can select the entire line just by dragging your mouse across it can be sometimes accidentally not perfectly reliable. If we, if we don't highlight the whole line, we can end up with a style mistake, which is easy to fix, but you know, slows you down. A better way to highlight a line is to click in the left margin outside of the actual printing area with just left clicking your mouse, and that will highlight the entire line, including the paragraph marker. Now we can make that Heading level two. We'll do that again, and you can see how easy that is. Heading level three. Oh, but we need to actually change this whole paragraph. Well, the, whole, the same thing can be done to a paragraph. Click in the left margin at the top of the paragraph, hold the left mouse key down, and as you do that, you will highlight the entire paragraph one line at a time. And now we can make that whatever type of style we need it to be. Okay, so over here in the styles, we have all of these different things. I'm going to show you a couple of basic things to do with styles that will make your life a whole lot easier when you use them. So let's say that we're working in a document, and right now, oops, let's say we're working in a document, and right now we have a document that is um, 
written in Garamond 12 point. And if we look at our font up here on the left, we can see Garamond 12 point. Well, the assignment, the homework assignment or the client standards, whatever we're working on, say that they actually want it to be Times New Roman 11 point. Okay, we could either do one of two things. We can highlight every single paragraph, either one at a time or in tandem, and then go up here and select Times New Roman 11 point and do that over and over and over. Or we can come over here to normal, update normal to match selection, and everything now that is normal has been changed to match that selection of Times New Roman 11 point font. Okay, there's another even easier way to do that. We'll undo that right now. Let's say that we're back here to, to Garamond, should, yes, Garamond 12 point. There we go, Garamon 12 point for the whole document again. If we come over here to normal and we grab this triangle and we select modify, now we can change Garamon to Times New Roman 11 point OK. Everything that is marked normal is now been changed to Times New Roman 11 point. So the real benefit of styles isn't just that it makes everything really consistent, it does that. If you use them well and correctly, you can make mass changes to your entire document nearly instantaneously so that you can also so that you can make sure everything looks and reads the same, everything is spaced the same way, and if you need to make a change, you can do it on the fly. So, that's the very basic primer to how to use styles. In the next video and the follow-up to this one, we're going to dive into this styles menu over here on the right, and I'm going to show you how to do different setup actions with styles and what they do and why you should do them. The styles menu right here is going to be your best friend if you do a lot of work in Microsoft Word because it's gonna make your life very, very easy. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.